This is Ayraj Kothula from PSC Forensic Science, SPFS. Today my topic is Pornography. Pornography. Pornography is also called as Porn, is a portrayal of the sexual subject matter for the exclusive purpose of sexual arousal. Pornography may be presented in a variety of media including magazines, animation, writing, film, video and video games. Pornography is legally defined as obscenity. The term obscene still hasn't been described in the IPC that is Indian Penal Code because the definition of the obscenity varies from community to community, time to time. Because terms like obscene are undefined, the interpretation can vary from conservative to liberal. Pornography is considered an extremely serious type of obscenity in India. Cyber Pornography The act of using digital world to create, display, distribute, import or publish pornography or obscene, obscene materials, particularly materials prominently featuring children having sexual intercourse with adults is known as cyber pornography. It is a result of technological advancement as there is a, as there is a easy accessibility of internet individuals can now strip large number of porn sets without a fear being caught. When children are in involved and child pornographic material is depicted on the internet, cyber pornography becomes a criminal offense. Child pornography Federal laws and state laws make it a crime to produce, possess, distribute, or sell pornographic materials that exploit or portray a minor, minor that is the underage of 18 years. Increasingly, child pornography laws are being utilized to punish use of computer technology and the internet to obtain, share and distribute pornographic materials involving children including images and films. Porn addiction Porn addiction It is that uh, you cannot stop looking at porn even if you want to do. To nowadays, porno pornography addiction is increasing. For example, in 2019, the popular set the popular porn site that is Pornhub recorded 42 billion visits, that's 115 million a day. People can watch pornographic content without being concerned about being caught due to easy access to the internet. Viewing porn privately is not illegal. In India, viewing sexually explicit material in private spaces is not illegal. The Supreme Court has also orally remarked back in July 2015 that it cannot stop an adult from exercising his fundamental right to personal liberty to watch porn within the privacy of his room. The Department of Telecommunications of the Central Government has issued an order in July 2015 requiring ISPs, Internet Service Providers, to ban 857 pornographic websites. And uh, however, that is later, government had stated that they are only aiming on the child pornography. Viewing effects. Viewing effects include a very adverse effects that include influences on rape, domestic violence, sexual dysfunction, difficulties with sexual relationships, and child sexual abuse. Consent plays a key role. The law has also begun to recognize consent in this regard. For instance, Section 66E of IT Act provides a punishment for violation of privacy. It provides the punishment of three years or fine of maximum two lakh for anyone who intentionally or knowingly captures, publishes or transmits the image of private area of any person without his or her consent. Section 354A defines sexual harassment as showing pornography against the will of a woman. Porn loss Laws and prosecution against pornography. Before the advantage, uh, advent of technology, Section 292 of IPC exclusively dealt with sale, distribution, public exhibition, or circulation of any obscene book, drawing, painting, etc. It says that any such material would be considered to be obscene if it is lascivious or appeals to be the prurient interest or its effect such as to tend to deprive and corrupt a person who reads it, sees it or hears it. Section 293 of IPC Indian Penal Code makes it illegal to sell, distribute, exhibit or circular obscene objects to anyone under the age of 20 years. Section 294 makes it a crime to do 
any obscene act or sing obscene songs in public places. However, with pornographic material largely available in the electronic form, the Information Technology Act, IT Act 2000 makes it illegal publish or transmit obscene material or material containing sexually explicit acts in the electronic form. Section 67 of Act make it illegal to publish or transmit obscene material in electronic form. This material it says can be anything which is las lascivious or appeals to the uh, appeals to the appeals to be the prurient interest or of its effect is such as to tend deprave or corrupt people who watch it read it or hear it anybody who does this can be punished with three years of jail term along with the file like as fine section 60 uh, section 67a of Information Technology Act provides punishment for the publishing or transmitting material containing sexually explicit act sexually explicit acts etc. in electronic form. Anyone who publishes or transmits or causes to be published or transmits transmitted any sexually explicit material can be punished with a jail time of five years along with ten lakhs as fine. When it comes to child pornography. It isn't just publication or transmission, but also position that is illegal under the law. Section 14 of POCSO, Protection of Children from Sexual Offenses Act 2012 make it, makes it a crime to use a child or children for pornographic purposes, prescribing a punishment at least 5 years of jail term with fine. In case of second or sub subsequent conviction it provides for a minimum sentence of seven years along with fine section 15 of POCSO act also make it illegal to store or possess child pornography transmitting or propagating or displaying or distributing in any manner the only exception to this storing or, or possessing pornographic material for reporting it to authorities or using it as evidence in court section 15 also provides for an enhanced punishment of three to five years of imprisonment for anyone who stores or for anyone who stores or possess child pornography for commercial purposes. Section 67B of Information Technology Act, it punishable makes it punishable for anyone to publish transmit material depicting children in sexually explicit acts in electronic form. So within the provision, creating text or digital images or collecting, browsing, downloading advertising, promoting, exchanging or distributing any material that depicts children in the obscene or indecent or sexually explicit manner is also prohibited. Conclusion India has passed legislation that forbids the use of cyber pornography in the interests of public ethics and moral integrity, such as non-consensual sexually explicit content which includes child pornography, MMS, video, video content of sexual offenses and so on these uh, these type of videos are easily available in the internet for all people all kind of people the people who are present in that video will be defamed not only defamed they can be blackmailed by the people for money or for the sexual purposes the viewership of porn in india is very high very high 35 to 40 percent 40% of con content downloaded each day from India is estimated to be pornography. 35 to 40% of data usage revenue for the mobile operators comes from porn. 25% of search engine queries related to porn. Globally, about 30% of net traffic is porn. Pornhub stated that uh, it uh, the third largest customer is uh, the third largest customer base is from India in 2015-2017. It is challenging to accept perhaps consensual explicit content because pornography is regarded as an aggregative type of obscenity in India. But this needs to change. We must completely strictly prohibited, prohibit non-consensual pornographic content on all on all platforms in order to preserve our dignity while maintaining a responsible restrictions on our freedom in light of the changing times so this is all about the topic thank you